हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू लर्न मोर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्टैटिस्टिक्स पार्ट थ्री फाइंडिंग आउट अ मेन ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ डाटा यूजिंग डायरेक्ट मेथड स्टूडेंट वी हैव थ्री मेथड्स टू फाइंड द मेन ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ डाटा डायरेक्ट मेथड अज्यूम्ड मेन मेथड स्टेप डिविएशन मेथड सपोज ही हैज टू फाइंड द मेन ऑफ द डाटा यूजिंग डायरेक्ट मेथड इन दैट केस यू हैव टू यूज टू फाइंड द मेन ऑफ द गिवेन डाटा यूजिंग डायरेक्ट मेथड स्टूडेंट समटाइम्स ही हैज टू फाइंड द मेन ऑफ द डाटा यूजिंग एज्यूम्ड मेन मेथड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस यू हैव टू फाइंड यू हैव टू फाइंड द मेन ऑफ द गिवेन डाटा यूजिंग एज्यूम्ड मेन मेथड student uh, sometimes he doesn't mention the name of the method suppose he says uh, find the mean simply he says find the mean in that particular case uh, you can use any one of those three methods student uh, which method you feel easy suppose if there are 30 students in the class uh, if i say come any one then there is a chance to come any one of those 30 students uh, see suppose student if i if i mention come particular name of the student then there is no chance to come uh any one of those 30 student only that particular name of the student has to come so here also same student if he mentioned the name of the student if he mentioned the name of the method in particular case you have to find using that method only if he doesn't mention the name of the method you can use any one of those three methods uh, which method you feel very easy so that is the c student uh, he asks a very important student he has four marks find the mean of the data using any one of those three methods we have three method student first one a direct method direct method so today we are going to find a mean of the given data using direct method so this student we use this formula to find the mean of the group of data in direct method mean x bar is equal to mean x bar is equal to sigma fi into xi divided by sigma fi so we use this formula to find the mean of the group of data in direct method student so this is the formula we use to find the mean of group of data using direct method mean x bar is equal to sigma fi into xi divided by sigma fi so you have to remember the formula student sometimes he asks so very important student you have to remember the formula write the formula to find the mean of group of data using direct method and explain each term involved in it he asks for two marks so you have to remember this formula student and you have to write which terms are involved in the formula so where here sigma is equal to it is used for summation student to find the sum of all sigma is equal to summation sigma is equal to summation fi is equal to frequency fi is equal to frequency of a class i student xi is equal to class mark xi is equal to class mark so how can we find class mark student it is uh, the average of each class interval by finding the average of each class interval we can get the class mark next uh, sigma fi student uh, sigma fi is equal to sum of the frequencies uh, sum of the frequencies sum of the frequencies sigma fi is equal to sum of the frequencies see student uh, this is the formula we use uh, to find the mean of group of data using direct method mean x bar is equal to sigma fi into xi by sigma fi where sigma is equal to summation fi is equal to frequency xi is equal to class mark sigma fi is equal to sum of the frequencies so very important student he asks every time for two marks like this write the formula to find the mean of group of data using direct method and explain each term involved in it so simply have to write the formula and explain the terms what are involved in the formula so this is the formula we used to find the mean using direct method student student here there is a question he has given see how can we find the mean using direct method <coughs> there is a question student uh, the table shows the daily expenditure of food of 25 households in a locality 
find the mean daily expenditure on food student d has given daily expenditure in rupees and the number of households he is asking to find the mean daily expenditure see student these are the daily expenditures these are the number of households he has given so for the given problem we have to prepare a tabular form student so first he has given daily expenditure here he has given two rows he has given horizontally just we have to write them in the vertical c student what he has given i am writing first to daily expenditure daily expenditure you have to write daily expenditure c student this is daily expenditure so daily expenditure in rupees so first one is 100 to 150 student 100 to 150 next 150 to 200 150 to 200 next 200 to 250 200 to 250 250 to 300 and the last one is 300 to 350 so these are the daily expenditures he has given student we have to write here so next number of households he has given student number of households so these are the frequency student frequencies f5 values number of households these are the frequencies we use the symbol f5 these are the frequencies so in there are four households in 100 to 150 class interval student next there are 5 here next there are 12 2 and 2 so these are the number of households he has given student these two he has given just he has given horizontally we have to write those two in vertical next student what we have to do next we have to find the class mark class mark so how can we find the class mark these are known as xi values student class mark how can we find these are the xi values by finding the average of class interval we can get the class mark class mark is the representative of the class interval student so this is the first class interval 100 to 150 by finding the average we can get the class mark of that class so how can we find average so 100 plus 150 divided by 2 250 by 2 student 250 divided by 2 is how much student 125 so 150 plus 200 it is 350 divided by 2 which is 175 so 200 plus 250 is equal to 450 divided by 2 which is 225 250 plus 300 550 divided by 2 which is 275 300 plus 350 650 divided by 2 which is equal to 325 so these are the class marks student so he has given two he has given two rows just we have written two rows and next we have found class marks by finding the average of each class interval so next we have to find these two we have to multiply these two student in the next column find out f5 into xi so f5 values he has given student these are the class marks just we have to find we have to multiply and write here so 4 into 125 which is equal to how much student 4 into 125 multiply 500 5 into 175 multiply student 5 5 are 25 and 2 5 7 are 35 plus 2 37 and 3 5 1 are 5 plus 3 8 75 5 into 175 it is 8 75 12 into 225 student multiply these two 12 fives are 60 and 0 6 12 twos are 24 plus 6 30 student 12 twos are 24 plus 3 27 so it is 2700 2 into 275 it is 550 student 2 into 325 it is a 650 student 650 2 into 325 650 so we we have four columns student in direct method you have to remember the tabular formula student he has given two rows we have written vertically 
so num daily expenditure number of households he has given just we have added these two columns for he has given these two student uh, number of households and daily expenditure he has given we have found class marks by finding the average of class intervals next uh, we have multiplied these two f i into x i so find total student total we have to find the total so sigma f i sigma f i is equal to total number of households he has given student we can get 25 4 plus 9 uh, sorry 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 12 21 21 plus 2 23 23 plus 2 25 so this is sigma fi student uh, next uh, we require sigma fi into xi we have to find the sum of all this so i am writing here student uh, sigma fi into xi sigma fi into xi is equal to so this is phi find the sum student phi 7 plus phi 12 plus phi 17 and I write 7 here one student 1 plus 6 7 7 plus phi 12 12 plus 7 19 19 plus 8 27 27 plus 5 32 student here right to 2 next here 3 2 plus 3 is 5 student sigma fi into x i is equal to 5275 just we have to substitute in the formula student so what is the formula to find the mean using direct method student this is the formula main x bar is equal to sigma f i into x i by sigma f i so from the table we have from the table from the table we have we have all the value student sigma f i is equal to how much student sigma f i is equal to 25 sigma f i into x i is equal to 5275 5000 275 so from the table we have sigma f i is equal to 25 student sigma f i into x i is equal to 5275 just we have to substitute in the formula student therefore mean x bar is equal to mean x bar is equal to sigma f i into x i how much it is 5275 divided by sigma fi how much it is 25 so right here by cancelling with 25 ones and 25 twos are 50 27 is there student 25 ones are 25 again 2 25 is there student it is 211 therefore we have to write what he is asking find the mean daily expenditure on food so this is the mean daily expenditure on food therefore we have to write conclusion student therefore the mean daily expenditure the mean daily expenditure the mean daily expenditure on food is equal to rupees 211 so find the main daily expenditure on food so we have to write the conclusion therefore the main daily expenditure on food is equal to rupees 211 so like this we can find the main of a group of data using direct method so in direct method we have these four columns so you have to remember the tabular form student uh, then you can find very easily you have to remember the tabular form and the formula and the terms involved in the formula so like this we can find the main using direct method in next class we can find how can we find using <coughs> <clears throat> mean of the group of data using assumed method and step deviation method we will learn in the next class that's all today's class student to get the latest updates subscribe to my channel learn more maths by Varakumar Vatnala